okay hello uh, everybody this is the second uh, video regarding with uh, logarithmic function which is concerning about different examples about logarithmic statement in the second part okay the first example simplify the following the logarithm of 64 to the base 2 times radical uh, 2 plus 4 to the power of 1 plus the logarithm of 4, 3 to the base 4 minus logarithm of 2 and the logarithm of 128 to the base 2 so this can be simplified as log 64 to the base radical 8 okay we can simplify this like this one plus since for the power of 1 plus means you can write 4 times uh, 4 to the power of uh, log 3 to the base 4 minus uh, this can be put to the power of or let's say to the power of uh, x gives 128 means this means to the power of x is equal to to the power of 7 so x is equal to 7 minus uh, how much 7 because when we multiply to 7 times we'll get 128 so this means again from uh, this statement we can get uh, uh, a the power of 1 over 2 the whole the power of x gives 64 which can be written as uh, a the power of x over 2 is equivalent to a the power of uh, 2 a the power of this means uh, x over 2 is equivalent to which means like that x is equal to how much 4 so x equivalent to 4 so this statement totally gives what 4 plus Again, this can be simplified as we left only 3. 4 times 3 minus 7 by the rule of body mass. First, we have to multiply this one. 4 plus 12 minus 7. 4 plus 12 is 16. 16 minus 7 is, uh, it must be what, 4 plus 12 or just 12 minus 7 is 5. 5 plus 4 is equivalent to uh, 9. Our final answer is, or B. Uh, it says for the power of the logarithm of 16 to the base 10.5 times the logarithm the square root of logarithm of uh, 9 to the base 2 uh, so from this uh, this can be written as for the power of uh, log uh, 16 to the base 1 over 2 because 0 0.5 can be simplified as 1 over 2 uh, uh, times times uh, it can be simplified we left only 9 uh, times radical 9 uh, let me solve this one first individually uh, this is uh, equivalent to 4 the power of uh, log uh, 16 to the base uh, 1 over 2 we can use different techniques to solve this one or either we can simply just this one uh, finally if we can find the logarithm of 16 to the base 1 over 12 or just we can convert this number statement into what uh, b the power of uh, log uh, c to the base b type either of the two just uh, i i am going to choose just simply finding this statement because converting the number to four into one over two is somewhat uh, complicated so from this the logarithm of 16 to the base one over two is negative four okay it can be written as negative four because uh, this can be the 1 over 2 the power of x gives how much uh, 16 times we disimplate that uh, to the power of negative x because 1 over 2 can be converted into the power of negative 1 then times x is to the power of negative x and this can be written as to the power of 4 so from this uh, x is equal to x is equal to negative 4 so from this uh, this can be written as negative 4 the power of uh, sorry for the power of negative 4 yes times uh, radical 9 is it can be written as 3 for the power of 4 because since our exponent is negative you can make it what 1 over 4 uh, times 3 this means 3 over 4 the power of uh, 4 for the power of 4 for the power of can be written as uh, it can be 3 over 4 times 4 times again 4 this means 3 over 16 times uh, we left 1 4 uh, 16 times 16 which is equivalent to 
uh, you have to know it's the product of the numbers, uh, especially until the number uh, 20. So it can be written as 256. So the simplified form of this statement is equivalent to 3 over 256. It can be simplified just like this. Okay, the uh, second example regarding is the logarithm of 2 and 3. Uh, if log 2 and log 3 are given, log 2 and log 3 with the base 10 are given, uh, then we need to find this statement first. Uh, by the law of the logarithm, we can write this one like the logarithm of radical uh, 3 over uh, logarithm of 2. We know that this can be written as again. Again, we, again, we have to apply the logarithm law. Uh, it can be to the power of 1 over 2, uh, 3 to the power of 1 over 2, and bring it to the front. Log uh, 3 over uh, log uh, 2. This means uh, we this can be written as 1 over 2 times times uh, log 3 over log 2 this means 1 over 2 times logarithm 3 logarithm 3 is 0 0.0 0 0.4771 over uh, 0. Point, logarithm of 2 to the base uh, 10 is this uh, this amount uh, 310 so this can be written as 4, 7, 7, 1, since we have the same number of digits after this point from the both cases, divided by 2 times 3, 0, 1, 0. Yes, and finally it can be written as 7, 1, 7, 1, 7, 4, 7, 7, 1, over uh, 2, which can be 6, 0, 2, 0. It can be simplified just like this. Again, this can be uh, written as the logarithm of 50 yes it can be written as it can it seems to what uh, it's complicated we, we have to express the number 15 as the product of the number 2 and the number 3 we have to express this way okay otherwise it's difficult to find it can be written as log uh, 15 over uh, log 1 over 2 since it is 1 over 2 it can be written as uh, log uh, 15 over the negative of log 2 how it becomes what uh, uh, the negative of logarithm this way uh, previously we have seen in the previous video to the power of this can be to the power of negative one since this negative one can transfer into what the uh, normal number base so since this is one over two it can be written as or just we can say that the logarithm of one minus logarithm of two and logarithm of one is zero zero minus a number is the number and the negative of the number so this can be written as uh, this means 15 can be written as uh, either 5 times 3 yes either 5 times 3 or we can make it one another way of the number uh, but you can express this number logarithm of 5 times 3 over the negative of log 2 but we don't we don't have uh, a number expressing the number 5 so this can be written as uh, log 5 yes, plus log 3 to the base 10, don't forget the all bases are negative into 10, minus uh, logarithm of 2, the logarithm of 2. This means we can explore this one, logarithm of 5 can be written as 10 times 2. The reason why we expose the number 5 as 10 times 2 is only we have logarithm of 2. And only logarithm of 3. So this can be written as uh, logarithm of 10 over 2 because 10 over 2 is 5 uh, plus uh, logarithm of 3 and divided by the negative of log 2. Log 2. Uh, let me bring it over here. This can be since it is a division, we can express what and do, or we can write the number as uh, difference of logarithm. Log 10 yes minus log 2 yes it can be put inside the bracket first because we have to decompose this one then uh, plus log 3 and divided by the whole okay the whole the negative of uh, log 2 now log 10 is 1 because logarithm of b to the base b is 1 1 minus so this can be written as 1 minus 0. 
3010 s plus 0 0.4771 this is logarithm of 3 divided by uh, 0 the negative of 0 0.3 0.3010 just this are the matter of uh, adding and subtracting uh, the numbers so 1 minus this means it can be written as uh, 0 0.6990 plus 0 0.4771 divided by the negative of 0 0.3010 it can be simplified just like this just add these two numbers and divide it by what negative number since uh, we have the same values it's can be written as uh, the sum is 1 plus 0 is 0 7 plus 9 is 16 uh, again 7 plus 9 is 16 plus 1 17 uh, we carry 1 1 plus is uh, one one so it can cost one point one seven six zero over the negative of zero point three zero one zero this means uh, we can you, you can eliminate this point as just one thousand uh, eleven thousand seven hundred sixty divided by uh, the negative of three thousand ten or just simply this cancel this zero can be cancelled uh, actually this is not zero this is good what one uh, one so finally this is our answer regarding who is B regarding for the logarithm of 15 to the base 1 over 2. Let me proceed for C the logarithm of 0. Point. This can be written as uh, log 2 times 10 to the power of uh, minus 3. It's possible. Yes, divided by logarithm of 1 third. One third. This can be written as uh, logarithm of uh, 2 to the base 10 uh, minus or just this kind of plus uh, logarithm of 10 to the power of negative 3 and divided by this can be written as the negative of log 3 log 3 this means we can bring this one to this word so it comes to be log 2 minus 3 because the logarithm of 10 is 1 1 times minus 3 minus 3 divided by the negative of log 3 so this means log 2 is 0. Point, uh, so it can be written as 0. 0.3010 minus 3 divided by the negative of 0. 0.4771 this is equivalent to the negative of 2 point s yes, 2.6 uh, 9 9 0 divided by the negative of for 0.4771 and this can be written as negative over negative is positive so 26990 divided by uh, 4771 you can put just like this as it is 26990 divided by 4770 770 you can use its uh, calculator to easily uh, to divide the numbers uh, okay uh, this can be written as uh, log 18 to the base 10 divided by just log 10 okay log 10 log 10 is just simply 1 so uh, only we are finding what logarithm of 18 logarithm of 18 okay so uh, logarithm of 19 18 means we can write log uh, 9 times 2 okay in log 9 times 2 this can be written as uh, log 3 square plus log 2 so bring it to 2 over here so twice of log 3 plus log 2 3 times this can be written as twice of logarithm it means twice of logarithm of 3 means 0 0.4771 yes uh, plus 0 0.3 0 1 0 when we multiply it by 2 it becomes what uh, 2 4 5 and 9 it becomes what 9.542 you know how to multiply 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 7 is 14 k1 2 times 4 again again 14 plus 1 is 15 
carry one again. Two times four is eight. Eight plus one is nine. Uh, zero point nine five four two plus zero point three zero one zero. Since it is greater than ten, it can be written as uh, zero plus two is two. One plus four is five. Uh, 0 plus 5 is again 5 uh, 3 plus 8 is 12 so 1.2552 so uh, just we have to sub over here uh, it comes 0 0.9542 plus 0 0.301 uh, so this is the simplified form of the number okay again we have to use the logarithm of 2 and the logarithm of uh, 3 uh, with the common base this can be written as log 3 over log 5 minus uh, log 5 over log 4 plus log 4 over log 6 first we have to find this one at the beginning this means uh, log 3 over log 5 bits 3 over 2 this means uh, log 3 uh, over uh, log 10 minus uh, log 2 yes this means uh, log 3 over 1 minus log 2 so this is equivalent to uh, this means log 3 over 1 minus log 2 minus log 5 means again the same as with uh, this one it can be written as uh, 1 minus uh, log uh, 2 over uh, twice of log 2 that is why log 4 means to the power of 2 to the power of two. plus again twice of log 2 over uh, log 3 plus log 2 the reason why we make it this one is log 6 is equivalent to log 3 times 2. We can decompose individually. This means uh, log 3 plus log 2. So this can be simplified. So from this, uh, let me bring it over here. This is equivalent to yes, 0 0.4771 over 1 minus 0 0.3 uh, 0 1 0 it is log 2 minus 1 minus 0 0.3 uh, 0 1 0 this is over twice of 0 0.3 0 1 0 plus twice of 0 0.3 0 1 0 divided by log 3 is 0 0.4771 plus 0 0.3010 0. so from this 0 0.4771 over this means the positive number uh, 0 0.6 990 because 1 minus 0 0.3 just means uh, 1.000 just we have four digits after the decimal point minus uh, 0 0.3010 means 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 1 is impossible so this means you got mix for the 9 9 uh, 10 sorry 10 minus 1 is 9 this number is uh, 9 9 minus 0 is 9 again and again this number is 9 9 minus 3 is 6 just make it this becomes what 0 0 minus 0 is 0 0 0.6990 0. that's why the reason becomes minus the same as 1 minus 0 point means uh, 0 0.6990 0 divided by twice means 0 0.6 0 to 0 uh, plus 0 point we multiply this number by 2 it becomes what twice uh, 6 0 to 0 okay 
uh, divided by the sum of the two numbers becomes what? Uh, 1 plus 0 is 1, 7 plus 1 is uh, 8, again 7 plus 0 is uh, 7, and 4 plus 3 is 7, 7, and there is 0 point. So this can be simplified just like this, which means 4, 7, 7, 1 over uh, 6, 9, 9, 0 minus 6, 9, 9, 0 over 6, 0, 2, 0 plus 6, 0, 2, 0 over 7, 7, 8, 1. So you can uh, use a calculator to divide those numbers uh, just simply or convert those numbers into decimal number form then you can add or you can subtract by yourself. Okay, log 18 to the base 5. Again, this means uh, uh, log 18 over uh, log 5. Yes, minus log 3 over log 5 simply plus this can be you can write what to five uh, this can be log uh, three the power of one over two to the base five can express this number as just like this uh, so it can be written as uh, log three the power of one over two to the base five simply okay can make it all just you can simply uh, divide it by log five Yes, it's log 5, it can be it easily. Uh, minus uh, log 6 over log 5. Since uh, all, uh, all, all the logarithms can be changed to log 5, we can write this like, like this one. Log 18, yes, over this number is minus 3, right? This is minus 3. Log over 8, so this is 5, yes times since the product is this is what plus times uh, three the power of since we can we make series of power of one over two okay. so the power of one over two uh, and over this make it over six yes six so this can be written as uh, log 18 times three the power of one over two over 18 three times six is eight so this is five so it's can be cancelled right it can be cancelled so this it can be 1 over 2 times uh, log 3 to the base 5 it can be rewritten just like this so finally you can put just like this okay uh, 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 5 in easy way this means 1 over 2 times 0 0.5 Four seven seven one divided by log five means log ten over two, right? So this means one minus zero point three zero one zero. The reason that we make it uh, this minus means log five can be written as uh, log five is uh, log ten over two. Okay, log of ten over two means uh, log ten minus log this is 1, 1 minus 0 0.3010, that's why. So this can be written as 4771, just erase the decimal point, uh, divided by 2 times, uh, this is, the difference is 0 0.6990 again. So just multiply it by 2. Uh, finally, we can get 4771 over 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 9 is 18 uh, again 9 we left 1 uh, 2 times 6 is 12 plus 13 13 uh, we have 4 of the decimal point this can be written as just like this so erase this number okay no need of writing this uh, uh, decimal point is this number is positive number so just erase this one uh, 6990 so 4771 over 1000 13900 80 so our final can be answered just like we can put just like these numbers okay for this one this can be written as uh, log 1 minus log 12. 12 this is 0 right 0 minus 
log 12. This means 12 log 12 can be written as uh, the negative of this is 0 log log 4 times 3, which means the negative of log 4 plus uh, log 3. This means the negative of okay, the bracket should be closed uh, log 2 square plus log 3, right? Uh, so let me bring it over here. This can be written as the negative of twice of log 2 minus log 3. This means twice of log of the volume of 2, which means minus 2 times uh, 0 0.3010, right? Minus, because this number is only for this logarithm, minus uh, 0 0.4771. This means negative 0 0.6. 0 to 0 minus 0 0.4771 just we can add together okay we can add together this can be written as the negative of okay the negative of 0 plus 1 is uh, 1 2 plus 7 is 9 0 plus 7 is again 7 uh, 6 plus 4 is 10 10 just we have 4 after a decimal point it comes out the negative of uh, negative of 1.0791 okay the reason why 1 point since this number is greater than 10 okay uh, if we say that uh, log x uh, to the base 10 is greater than 1 greater than 1 which implies like that x must be greater than what 10 the value of x must be greater than 10 if uh, log x is uh, is between uh, 0 and 1 s yes, between 0 and 1 or if this is what 0 less than uh, 1 so x should be uh, between 0 less than or just simply 1 okay 1 is less than x which is less than 10 the value of x is between 1 and 10 does not contain the number 1 and 0 if x is uh, log x is less than uh, 0 less than 0 means if uh, the value of x is between uh, 0 is less than x which is less than 1 if x is between 1 and 0 yes it doesn't contain the number 0 and the number 1 so the logarithm of x to the base 10 is less than 0 which is negative this is, that's what is it for example, let's say this logarithm of 1 over 12, this is between 0 and 1. So final answer is it becomes a negative number. Negative number. Uh, this means again we can write log 6 to the power of 1 over 3. So bring it 1 over 6 to the front. 1 over 3 times log 6 means 2 times 3, right? 2 times 6 means 1 over 3, the whole, okay? It must be log 2 plus log 3 okay log 3 so finally one third times log 2 is 0 0.3010 plus 0 0.4771 this is equivalent to 1 over 3 yes 1 over 3 times uh, 0 0.7781 which is equivalent to uh, 778 1 divided by this is just we are multiplied by 10,000 so 3 times uh, 3 times 10,000 is 30,000 just see. this can be written as 1 over 2 times uh, log 3 square okay 3 square this so multiply this one to this value so it comes what 1 times or 1 over 2 times 2 times log 3 log 3 this becomes what 1 1 times which means log 3 is 0 0.4771 just simply or into confraction we can write uh, 4771 over 10,000 can be written as uh, 10,000 this one for k or for this one let me bring it over here uh, can be written as uh, log 3 over 2 because 3 over 2 is equivalent to 1.5 the base 10 this means uh, log 3 minus 
log 2 yes log 3 minus log 2 so this is equivalent to 0 0.4771 right minus 0 0.3010 the difference becomes what 1 minus 0 is uh, 1 7 minus uh, 7 minus 1 is uh, 6 7 minus 0 is again 7 4 minus 3 is 1 so 0 0.1761 or just simply 1761 divided by just simply 10,000 10,000 so we left four digits okay that's our example if logarithm of 0 0.0057 equivalent to the negative of 0 the negative of 2.244 then uh, evaluate the logarithm of third root of 570 first we have to evaluate this one okay, we have to explore this just like this uh, log okay let's convert the ink color uh, it can be written as uh, forget this one log 5.7 just we have to move times to the power of negative you can express this as a scientific notation statement this means 5.7 times to the power of negative 3 because one we have shifted the decimal point into three digits off to the right uh, one two three two we have to make it negative three so it is the power of negative three yes equivalent to negative two point two four four so from this it can be decomposed as logarithm of 5.7 plus the logarithm of 10 to the power of negative 3 is equivalent to negative 2.244 this means just let us say this one is uh, log 5.7 yes minus this becomes what negative 3 okay finally negative 3 equivalent to negative 2.244 so this is we just we need to this one let's say this is x x minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 is equivalent to negative 2.244 this means like that x is equivalent to negative 2.244 plus 3 so from this x is equivalent to 3 minus 2.4 uh, sorry 2.24 uh, 3 minus 2.244 this is equivalent to just make it this one is 3.000 uh, we have 3 digit after this my point so it becomes what uh, 0 0 minus 4 is uh, the first one is 10 minus 46 then this becomes what 5 and from this 9 minus 7 and 2 minus 2 is this one 0 0.576 this is x uh, but we have to go in this way this means we need to evaluate log 570 the power of 1 over 3 we know that log 5 points so from this uh, log 5.7 is uh, 0 0.756 we know this one uh, from these uh, calculations from this one so finally x means 0 0.756 which is equivalent to log 5.x it is not division it is uh, x so from this bring this one to this way 1 over 2 1 over 3 okay 1 over 3 times log 5.7 times 10 to the power of 2 yes it's possible to write this one so from this uh, 1 over 3 uh, times log 5.7 uh, plus 10 logarithm of this one means 2 or just you can make it what uh, log 10 square uh, and we have to close the bracket this means 1 over 3 times this is uh, 0 0.756 because already we calculated the logarithm of uh, 5.7 and plus 2 which is uh, 2.756 divided by 3 divided by 3 or just simply 2.756 over 
we multiply this number by thousand so three thousand just simply you can put just like this or you can simplify further okay uh, the fourth part if five the power of x is equivalent to thousand then solve for x solve for x which means five the power of x gives thousand previously we have seen the logarithmic statement is easy to find what the exponent just this means we can write this one okay log we can put the logarithm of 5 the power of x is equivalent to log uh, it is 10,000 10,000 just as we can divide the number the both sides of the equal uh, equal equation by the same number uh, and noting on the equivalent just we can add the logarithms in the front okay in the front so logarithm of this means x times log 5 is equivalent to the logarithm of uh, 10 the power of 10,000 means 10 the power of 4 so we are finding x right x this is 4 which means x times log 5 is equivalent to this is equivalent how much 4 just dividing since this number is n a negative number or n a zero number uh, just divided by logarithm of 5 and by log 5 this is equivalent to x means x is equal to 4 over log equal to log 5 this is the solution the solution for x okay the fifth part the fifth part uh, the fifth example if log uh, 2 to the base b is equal to x and log 3 to the base b is equal to y then evaluate the logarithm of 6 root 3 over 2 to the base b this can be written as log log 6 means 3 times 2 okay times root 3 divided by root 2 to the base how much b let it decompose first this one bring this one to the upper, upper one upper and add just these numbers which can be written as log 3 to the power of 1 is yes, plus this means the radical 3 means 3 to the power of 1 over 2 right 1 over 2 times to the power of 1 it, since it is over minus we have to make it what 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 to the base b so this is equivalent to log 3 the power of 1 plus 1 over 2 3 over 2 right 3 over 2 uh, we can make it since it is a product product with the same base to the base b times or plus logarithm of 1 minus 1 over 2 means to, to the power of 1 over 2 to the base b this is equivalent to bringing this one this way uh, 3 over 2 times log 3 to the base b plus 1 over 2 means just we can bring it over to the front logarithm of log the 1 over 2 times logarithm of 2 to the base b what log 3 means just y so 3 over 2 times y plus 1 over 2 means log 2 means x 1 over 2 times of what x this means 3y plus 3y plus x over 2 in the simplest way in the simplest way you can simplify this like this okay if the 20 the power of log 5x squared to the base 20 equal to x then solve for x again solve for x since we have the same basis in this context just simplify this becomes what one if i so finally 5x squared is equal to x just we need to find x this implies that 5x square minus x is equal to 0. This implies that take common factor for x, x into 5 minus 5x, sorry, 5x minus 1 and equivalent to 0. So the product of two numbers it gives 0. This means either x is equal to 0 or 
or uh, 5x minus 1 is equal to 0. So from this, uh, x is equal to bring this one, which is 1 over 5. But since our statement is logarithmic, uh, in this context, this number cannot be grid 0, should be greater than 0. This value, okay, this value 0. So we have not, we are not going to choose this statement. So our solution, yes, our solution set should be what the only one over five. One over five. The reason why we choose only one over five, don't forget that uh, uh, from the previous statement, uh, log uh, a to the base b means b should be different, should be greater than. Uh, 0 and different from 1 as well as a should be what positive in number so it cannot be a value even it's not to be what 0 it if logarithm of it is a uh, logarithm a should be what 0 which means the b the base must be what 0 unless otherwise a should not be 0 so uh, our solution is only this number so it must be what in an zero and a non-negative number okay a positive or it must be what positive real number positive real number okay uh, okay the seventh part uh, evaluate 16 the power of log 3 to the base 4 plus to the power of 1 minus log 6 to the base 2 minus 25 the power of log 5 log 4 the radical 49 to the base 5 actually uh, we need such kind of example uh, previously uh, complete it by yourself complete it by yourself so this one is uh, just uh, left as an exercise uh, and put the answer on the comment uh, after you find or after you calculate the this uh, calculations just put your answer on the comment part Okay, and finally we approved the, the answer. Okay, the eight parts simplify the logarithm of three to the base logarithm of two to the base three times logarithm of three to the base four times logarithm of four to the base five times and continuously and finally it becomes what the logarithm of fifteen to the base sixteen. This means uh, we can write this one, okay? Uh, logarithm of two over log 3 if you express the statement as just like this it's be it could be very simple so the second one is logarithm of 3 over log 4 times this means again uh, log 4 over log 5 times times it continuously finally we will have to add, uh, logarithm of 15 over log 16 there is a number times uh, log uh, 14 over uh, log 15 this see this all cancel okay uh, this also will cancel this is a logarithm of 5 over log 6 this cancel this cancel so finally we left logarithm of 2 and the last one which means uh, equivalent to log 2 over log 16 this means you can write this one like this one log 2 to the base 16 because this number can be put into what backward we as a base so this means 16 the power of x gives how much 2 16 means you know that to the power of 4 right 4 the whole the power of x equivalent to to the power of 1 this is like that uh, 4x see 4 times x is equivalent to 1 the exponent because we have we have uh, the same uh, basis 4x is equal to 1 this implies like that x is equal to dividing both sides by 4 okay by 4 x is equal to 1 over 4 so finally you can get the simplified form of this kind of numbers is equivalent to 1 over 4 just simply just we have to apply the law of logarithms okay thank you very much for attending uh, my video lessons uh, for the better videos for the next videos uh, to reach uh, for you uh, please subscribe uh, and share for your friends uh, if they need and uh, touch the notification button 